Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Jason, and today I wanna to talk about something that's really near and dear to my heart, diversifying your bookshelf. Now, as many of you may know, I am a very proud member of the queer community. However, I am still a white male, and that comes with a ton of privilege. I'm also fortunate to have a really cool platform here on the internet to talk to people about books all the time. And because of these two things, it's even more important that I make sure to constantly diversify my collection of books that I read and talk about. So a couple disclaimers before we get started. This video is gonna be about best practices that I have found for making sure that I am diversifying my bookshelf on a weekly, daily, monthly basis. This is not necessarily a recommendation video. I'm not gonna be giving you lists of queer authors and black authors that you have to read. There are tons of those lists out there and they are already more comprehensive than I could ever do in the span of this video. I think a lot of people hear the words diversify your bookshelf and they think I have to change everything I'm reading, I have to read a genre I don't like, I have to do things I don't wanna do and I don't wanna do it. And that is not what we mean by diversifying your bookshelf. This video is gonna be more about how to consistently diversify your reading habits as well as your bookshelf, whether it be a physical bookshelf or a digital one. And one more disclaimer before we get started. Diversifying your bookshelf is not a one and done deal. You don't go to the bookstore, get one diverse heavy book haul and call it a day. Diversifying your reading habits on your bookshelf is a lifelong goal and you should constantly be thinking about it when you go to purchase books or even borrow books from the library. Don't think about diversifying your bookshelf as a mountain that has a peak you can reach. Instead, think about all the authors in the world as stars in the sky. You will never ever be able to name every single one. But if you start small with just a couple and then add a couple more and a couple more, before you know it, you're gonna know more stars, more authors from all over the world than you even thought possible. Okay, with all of that said and done, let's get started. My first tip for diversifying your bookshelf is one of the easiest, and yet it's one that people seem to forget about, and that is Google. But I wanna make a distinction. What I think a lot of people do when they decide to diversify their bookshelf is they type into Google, best books by black authors, best books by queer authors, best books by Latino authors, best books by persons with disabilities. And then they get this list of books that are awesome, but they're from all kinds of genres that maybe you don't read ever. Maybe you don't like nonfiction and now you've got a whole list of nonfiction. You're gonna go, well, I don't wanna read any of these. So here's the trip. Let's say you love science fiction. Best sci-fi books by black authors. Best sci-fi books by queer authors. And now you have a list of great books in a genre you enjoy and by reading them, you will be diversifying your bookshelf. It's so easy. Tip number two, wander the bookstore. I hold here in my hand four amazing books by diverse authors. I, as a reader, loved all four of these books. However, all four of these books would be found in completely different places in your bookstore. Now, many bookstores have rectified this issue in some ways, but something I wanna remind you of is that many bookstores still distinguish different kinds of authors and put them in different sections. So what's crazy to think about is there might be a fiction section and you might just go straight there because fiction, I wanna read fiction, but there might be a separate queer fiction section. There might be a separate section for black authors. Some stores even still separate out women's fiction from regular fiction. It's all fiction. So it's incredibly important to not just go straight to the place you always go in the bookstore, but to wander because that is how you're going to discover other authors, other creators, and other types of books. Listen, I just gave you an excuse to spend more time at the bookstore. Do it. Tip number three, when getting to know your new book, also get to know your author. So when you're wandering the bookstore, I think the way a lot of us discover books is that we see a fancy cover, we pick it up, we read the blurb, and we decide if it sounds good. So here's my challenge to you. Discover a pretty book, read that blurb, and then read the author blurb in the back. When you make this a constant practice, something that you just always do, it's going to be so easy for you to find diverse authors. And honestly, at this point, when I pick up a book and see it's by a diverse author, I get even more excited to read it. Now there is a disclaimer to this tip. You'll notice I said, read about your author. I did not say, open the book, see if they are a different color than you, and call it a day. The point here is to read books in a genre you love, from authors that come from a different life experience than you. And the other problem with looking at it and just saying, oh, they're a different color than me, sold, is that I'm not telling you to just avoid white authors at all costs. The point is to find a whole rainbow of different authors and creators so that your bookshelf reflects the world you live in. But that brings us to tip number four. Be intentional about diversifying your bookshelf. Here's the thing about going into a bookstore and a library and just hoping for the best. For decades, publishers have prioritized white, straight authors. That means that if you leave it up to fate, you're not intentional about trying to find diversity in your books. You very well may not. It's so easy, even in this day and age, to go into a store completely blind, buy books just based on what the story is about, have no idea what who the authors are, 
and walk out with a whole bag full of just white straight authors. It's so easy because they make up so much of the bookstore and the library. That's why when you are diversifying your bookshelf, you have to be intentional about it. And that's also why I said this is a lifelong practice. Tip number five, explore the featured tables of the month. If it's Pride Month, Black History Month, maybe Lunar New Year. A new trend, which we love in stores, is to have featured tables with authors that reflect the time of the year that it is. These tables are pre-made, curated lists of great books and authors for you to check out. And they serve as a great reminder to ask yourself, do I have this kind of diversity on my shelf? For example, during Black History Month, that's a great time to look at the Black History table of books and say, do I have this represented on my shelf? Have I read any of these stories? It might just be time to do so. Tip number six. This is one of my favorite ones and honestly a way that I find a ton of my books. This tip is really more about that continued practice. So as you start to diversify your library, you are absolutely going to find authors that you love that are diverse authors. Yay! Now here's your next step. Find those authors on social media and follow them. There's a very good chance that those authors are gonna uphold other authors that are similarly diverse. All right, last tip, I promise. This is one I got from some research and I just think it's really, really fun. Treat reading as a passport. So sit down and think about all the places you wish you could visit. Spain, Egypt, China, Japan. Now go ahead and look up some books by authors from those places. This is a great way to explore places you wanna visit through the eyes of someone who lives there. It's kind of silly, but it's also a really fun way to diversify your bookshelf. Here's something I like to remember. The person most responsible for keeping me knowledgeable, for keeping me informed, and for keeping my, di my bookshelf diverse is not my queer friends, it's not my black friends, it's not my Latino friends. It is me. Doesn't mean that your diverse friend group isn't a great resource because they are. Honestly, one of the best ways to learn about diversity is to shut up and listen, but it is not their responsibility to diversify your reading and your bookshelf. And putting that ownership on yourself can be a little scary, but once you start putting this into practice and you're diversifying your bookshelf, it'll become second nature. And if you like stories like I do, you're gonna find it really exciting to find an author from a completely different walk of life than you that writes in a genre you love, because chances are they're gonna have a new perspective or new spin on a world or a type of story that you love. And that's so exciting. Great allies, especially in the reading community, add diversity to their reading and their bookshelves without having to be told to do it. I also wanna point out, it doesn't mean that you have to like every single book that you read from a diverse author. It's okay to read a book from a diverse author and say, you know what, this wasn't for me. But it's not okay to just decide that every diverse author is not for you. Because we have a name for that, it's called racism. I promise, promise, promise you, that if you start looking for diverse authors in genres you love, you are absolutely 100% going to find diverse authors that you like. And for all my fellow sci-fi fantasy friends, if you can relate to a cast of fantasy people, like in the case of Lord of the Rings, then I'm pretty certain you can find it in yourself to relate to black, indigenous, people of color, LGBTQ+, and people with disabilities. And guess what? Relating to characters that are different than you will help you to relate with people that are different than you. Oh my God, it's like reading has real world benefits. Who could have guessed? I really hope that this video was at least a little bit helpful to everyone out there. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.